continue with six rounds scheduled, and it is a international bantamweight contest. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions in association with the Cayenne Prince Foundation, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red and Foot Asylum. When the bell rings, our referee in charge and scoring this contest will be Kieran McCann. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he's wearing blue with white and weighed in at eight stone, six pounds. Coming to us from Sofia, Bulgaria, he brings a professional record consisting of eight wins, 15 defeats, one draw, with five of his eight wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Georgie Georgiev. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing white with gold and weighed in at eight stone, eight pounds. Hailing from Kent, England, he is undefeated with three wins. Two of his three wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Dennis the Menace McCann. Right, boys, listen to me. You both know the rules. Obey my commands at all times. When I tell you to break, break cleanly. Step back, throw no punches. Keep your heads out of the way. Most importantly, protect yourself at all times. Shake hands. Got a bit of a welcome from the crowd, didn't he? Dennis McCann, only 18 years old, only his fourth professional contest. But his trainer, Alan Smith, says he is a little superstar, a bit of a demon in him. And already Same Frank down. Warren, his promoter, is likening him to a teenage Nazim Hamad. That is praise indeed. <laughs> it really is praise. You can't forget how young he is, and he's been great. He really has. His debut was, was, was one of the best we've seen. It was absolutely fantastic. But you know, he's going to have big tests ahead, but, and he's, but he's looking at everything but the, uh, a future star for sure. His last opponent only lasted 30 seconds. Georgiev, we reckon, is going to be a little bit uh, a little bit more durable than that. Although, having said that, Charlie Edwards beat him with a good body shot, so maybe a vulnerability there. And it has to be said, he rarely wins when he ventures outside his native Bulgaria. And a good little loop in left hand there from the southpaw stance from McCann. Just he's just getting that foot, taking his time, just stalking. Stalking the kid, nice wide stance, getting that right foot on the outside. Similar heights, McCann may be slightly the taller, not much in it though. Here comes from a travelling background, Dennis McCann. Just stepped a little bit too close there with the second left hand there, McCann. The movement was right, all, everything, the idea was right. One, two, come back in again with that long left hand, just stepped a little bit too close with the front foot. The left hand Tim again. The right hand as well. But the straight left hand for me was the better shot. Georgiev beat Sammy Cantwell back in 2016. Alan Smith, McCann's trainer, was in the corner on that occasion. So he win. knows that uh, Georgiev is not one to be taken for granted. What McCann's done, he's made Georgiev feel that power, especially with that left hand from pretty early on. So he's very tentative now to, to look for anything of attack. Well, that was a flashy right hand flown in, an uppercut of sorts. I'll let Barry describe it more accurately, but it nailed him, and he's gone down for the first time. It was a long left hand, wasn't it? First of all, that, that put him in the trouble, and then he was holding on to McCann. McCann kept, kept clubbing him. Oh, lovely jab, there. nice little step back there, and jab from, from McCann. He's still got 20 seconds to get through to the end of the opening round, and could he go down again? Looks as though he got one round the back of the head to me, but he's on very, very unsteady legs and goes down. Body shots to the rib cage, it's hurting. 
to the left-hand side of his body. It must have been a right hand from McCann that did the damage. He's just about going to see it through to the bell to end the opening round, but it was all McCann and two knockdowns. need to look over his shoulder to say not got a lot left did he that was that, that right that's hand that put him down shot. first off just to get the angle there he leans over the front foot not too far to get off balance but just 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 to engage just sit down to come back with power there that little screw shot real athleticism it is and also the variety of the world just made georgia didn't know where the punches are coming from and he didn't look for the floor to his credit but he was lost and taking punches from all angles Corners, and the body shot went right across the body and really hurt him and he, he you know he's going to have a tolly roll now out. here Round well, there was the two. second knockdown just coming. Anyway, we go now into the second, and it would be a major shock for me if Georgi Georgiev somehow managed to find his way through this. Now, he's just having a word, the referee, quite rightly, about the shot which went round about around the back of the head before the second knockdown. Maybe somebody has uh, tipped him off with that one from outside the ring. Well, I, I can understand that, but at the same time, if Georgiev's stuck in his head, though, no. Then, then he's hiding the target. You, know, you, you hit what's in front of you. Well, he was uh, very, very unsteady in the closing seconds of that opening round, and there's an uppercut straight away, and the pressure is being unloaded once more yeah. by young Dennis McCann. It was an uppercut in the, in, in the first round that started the onslaught of the, of the unraveling of George Evan. I wonder whether that's going to be the same here. Again, it was not rushing his work, McCann. We say this all the time about these young kids. You know, the, the need to want to, to want to impress, you know, and, and the exuberance of youth sometimes rushing your work, but he's staying nice and calm. You know, he, he knows he's got the win. He knows if he picks the right shot, this could be over at any time. So he's just looking for that clean, clear shot. A stoppage victory here for McCann against a durable journeyman is a good one. He's making George F look completely outgunned here and did do pretty much from the outset. Like I said in the first round, very early in the, in the first round, he made him feel his power early, made Georgie have tentative to let his hands go, which makes him easier to hit, of course. Oh, oh sure. that's a lovely right hand again. Beautiful uppercut, and Georgie shakes his head almost in disbelief that he got suckered into that one. He's cleared his head, and that shot really is reminiscent of the man we were talking about at the outset, Nazim Hamed. That was a tree back now shot, wasn't it, really? That, that, that little lean over, little dip of the legs coming in with that, that lead uppercut. Big body shot as well. George F again looking to survive now. Oh, good shot, good long left hand there from McCann. And again, still maintaining that distance, we can get leverage on his punches here as well. Another well, left hand this time whipped in. The clip of the right hand himself there, I think, just his hands a little bit low. Oh, that's good work there, stepping on the side of the body there, so georgia has got to turn if he's willing to throw back. He just doesn't, doesn't know where the punches are coming from, does he? This Georgia can't find can't find the target with, with McCann, because he's either taking a step back and making him pay or spinning around the target and making him pay there. It's been another big round for McCann. Is George F going to see his way through? Looked at one stage as though he was perhaps about to go with that trademark, what's becoming a trademark uppercut lead from McCann. Just put him down for the third time. Is he going to go again? And the referee stops it. Referee stops it with just moments to go in the second round. And that is an eye-catching win for young Dennis McCann. If you're just seeing him for the first time, of course, he'll go in against much, much more talented opposition in months and years to come. But this is such a work in progress, only 18 years old, and at points there, he looked outstanding. 18 years of age, your fourth professional fight, that's punch perfect, it really is. He barely missed with a shot to the composure that he showed. The variety in his work, the shot selection, you know, the, 
the, even setting up the attacks with a little double feint every now and again that he, that he did and maintaining his distance when he was attacking. There's very little he did wrong there tonight. I thought that was an outstanding. But you're such a young man, a really mature and outstanding display. There's there. the first knockdown. Now, there's Naz. No, no, all this comparison with Naz, I, I think you know, people got carried away. But that, that's as Naz as you would find. That really is. Well, I commented Fantastic. on most of his career, and I can tell you that really is a trademark Hamed style oh, punch. John, I watched most of his career, hoping I wasn't ever going to fight him. So, <laughs> you know, I, I know how dangerous he was. And, and, and McCann showed, showed little traits, little glimpses of, of, of a, of a Naz esque type performance but he was he's his own man he's his own own man is Dennis McCann and he, and he boxed superbly tonight even some of the, the, the traditional conventional straight shots right through the guard were, were perfect the distance the timing on them enough power but enough speed to come back and not get caught himself that that's an A plus that is for tonight see him and talk to him outside the ring he looks like a young lad looks like a young lad again now but when he fights he's like a little tiger and here now to confirm win number four out of four contests is Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. Our referee in charge, Kieran McCann, stops the contest as the red corner was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner, and still undefeated, Dennis the Menace McCann. We sometimes take criticism for overhyping young talents, but I tell you what, I've seen a few come through over the years, and this guy.